Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and welcome back to another specialist guide. Today we are going to be taking a look at Recon in the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta. Now Recon in my opinion is one of the best if not the best specialist in the game because he can give your team so much intel on the location of the enemy team. I feel that a very good team comp should have one Recon and he is definitely going to be the meta for competitive. Now before we get into his abilities and equipment, a good combination you guys should consider is running recon with the acoustic sensor because recon's role is someone who gives intel out to your team and uh, with the acoustic sensor it's just going to add another source of intel for your team and whoever is playing him can give the team that intel via communication on their mic and call out so like i said it's just going to add another source of intel now guys getting straight into recon specialist ability he comes with the vision pulse which you might remember from call of duty black ops 3 this was Outrider's ability, however, it does play a bit different. For example, your entire team can see the vision pulse on their screen, and it also reveals enemies at a way longer range, so it's very, very strong in this game, and way better compared to the Black Ops 3's version of vision pulse. Of course, the other team will notice that they are on the radar, because they get outlined in red, but uh, that's not really going to make too much of a difference in them countering vision pulse, unless you are using the ghost perk, which only reduces the reveal time it does not completely counter vision pulse but uh, on screen now are some stats I collected after playing with him uh, for pretty much the entire day it takes over 10 minutes to fully charge the vision pulse without getting kills or any score whatsoever there's also a total of three vision pulses and they come in intervals of five seconds so in total the pulse is gonna last for 15 seconds one thing you should know is that if you die while the pulse is activated then so will the effect so make sure you do your best to stay alive and get the full effect obviously do not pop the vision pulse whenever you are capturing the objective or if you're on the verge of death play this smart because the vision pulse takes a really long time to get i find that i average about like two i'm getting the vision pulse like two times a game so again you want to use this with caution you want to make sure you get the full effect of vision pulse now moving on to the sensor dart this basically acts like a motion sensor or a mini uav in a way because it's going to reveal enemies that are within its proximity very very powerful piece of equipment here especially for objective modes i really love using the dart for s and d as well because for defense i can place down the dart around a bomb site and then i can pretty much lock down that entire area super super good for SD. and then if you are on offense after you plant the bomb you can uh, pretty much place down the dart to keep that area more secure or even at the very start of the game just use the dart because you can get a feel for where the enemy team may be set up at and the same thing applies for all the other game modes also when you are using the dart you want to make sure that it's in an area that's either really high up somewhere or really well hidden from the other team or both so that way they cannot destroy the dart the dart does take 1 minute and 20 seconds to charge up and then it will last for about 30 seconds but it only covers a circular area of proximity but still the dart is really nice to have because anytime you reveal the other team's location on the map you've almost got a guaranteed chance of winning that gunfight so kind of get creative with the darts placement in this clip you'll notice here that i place it underwater so again find an area that the enemy team won't think to check and make it really hard for them to destroy it also whenever the enemy team kills someone that's marked by the sensor dart you're gonna earn 15 score so that's a cool little bonus now the dart also does reveal enemy locations in waves kind of like the vision pulse but the cooldown time between each pulse is about one second maybe even less and uh, each pulse will even last for about three seconds so in general recon is an amazing specialist and in my eyes he's the best out of all the others every team should have at least one if uh, you're playing chaos tdm then definitely run two and make the other team's life even worse also also a combination of acoustic sensor will add even more radar for you, making recon even stronger. Intel wins wars. Threat destroyed. 
Intel definitely does win wars and that's the model you should keep in mind while using recon in a game. I really want to stress the combination of acoustic sensor and uh, recon because you can literally feed constant callouts to your teammates this way. If you guys are having a hard time with the Black Ops 4 beta then I highly would recommend using recon as your main because of his abilities. I hope you guys enjoyed this specialist breakdown video. If you guys could leave a like I really would appreciate that. Also tell me your thoughts about recon down below in the comments and if you would like to see a certain specialist for the next guide I'd be more than happy to bring it to y'all and yeah thanks for watching I love each and every one of y'all until next time I'll see you later